are trying to prevent foreclosures, whether it's you know help for homeowners and all these forced renegotiations, guess what? They've all failed. People they, uh, redefault on their mortgages. The cure rates are abysmal. So the yeah, the recidivism rate is about 40%, I think, right? They, and, right, yeah, and let that's the market the thing, the, these, Right, they're back in foreclosure again. The majority of these homes that are in foreclosure to begin with, they go, they get this government help, they're right back where they started from. So it's not and, helping and, worst, and it's not and, working. When? And the worst part of this is they're rewarding the big banks, the major money center banks who were the cause of this, the too big to fail. Right. If it was the little mm -hmm. banks who are out there who are possibly failing, that would be okay. But no, they're rewarding Citigroup and Merrill Lynch and all these people who caused this thing. Right, and Jonas? I, believe, I would love it if these banks would get punished more than they already have, including the people who put no money down and bought houses that just doubled in price. However, I can't think of a scenario where you wouldn't have home prices fall another 60 or 70%. So you say level. that this is protecting people it's, who make their mortgage payments. On it's I mean, protecting Jonathan the taxpayer exactly because the ultimately the government already, but look at all the banks the government's already had to pay over the FDIC. It's almost out of money. How much more money do you think FDIC would need if all the banks failed because homes fell 50% more because we all stood back and watch a glut of work. What's going to happen? What excuse me, just, excuse me. Go ahead, Wayne. It's not fair. It does, it, it does happen, Wayne. No, I know that. The FDI the FDIC is bailing out those member banks who are members of the FDIC. The big banks, one big bank, Citigroup, AIG, those cost more than all the banks in the United States. Yeah, between between the two of them. And, 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 and Jonas, and Jonas the correction. I think my concern the, the with all has this already is, occurred. And it's my, not. It is not. It only the very tip of the bubble went away. We pr propped up homes at an actually elevated level. What? They could fall another 40, so, 50 percent if so, 20 million homes well, were forced you know, under, sold under, by banks. Yeah. Well. But that's what that's what needs to happen. And no one likes to see people thrown out of their homes, Terry, but that foreclosure process, I mean my God, a mortgage okay. is between a borrower and a lender. Even what if the it government sends us is into in, even in, if it sends us into a second understand. terrible recession, a double dip, we'll get out of it. Okay with Terry, it. We'll it'll, get out of it. it. It'll be quicker. Yeah. It'll be quicker. You want to quick. drag it, you want to drag it out over five or eight. ten years, which is what they're Terry, doing. Terry, we now. haven't even hit the commercial real estate market yeah, yet. So we've dumped all this money into residential. What's gonna happen up? Let the market fall if it's going to. And surprise, surprise, those same banks are the ones with all the big commercial loans as well. Coming up next, well, good idea or more